Today I'm going to talk to you about Pioneer Library and two services in it, EBSCO. First we'll go to EBSCO. EBSCO has a lot of resources that are available for you to, to do research for students. The first one is, I'm going to just go through and show you, Searchosaurus. This is for lower elementaries and you can see that they have categories and uh, all around the dinosaur theme of animals and stuff like that. And you've got your search bar here that you can search in uh, the subject. You can also do Lexile level searching. Okay, I'm going to uh, get out of that and we'll just show you the upper elementary. This is called Kid Search. When you come into Kid Search, you'll notice that you have same different types of categories and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to click on Steve Jobs and so I'm going to search for Steve Jobs and I have, I'll hit go. Notice that when I do this I came up with um, the different categories I can filter by. I came up with 1,189 different uh, hits on this and I can look at the first one it says could an iPad mini stamp out Kindle Fire. This was done by the Christian Science Monitor on April 18, 2012. Notice that it also lists the reading level of 1230. So you'll notice that I can filter by the reading lexile. If I click on this lexile level, it'll actually give me a list of what the ranges are. Now as a student, I can then look at this and say, ooh, I might want to read that. If I come over here, click add, it will create add it to a list and then I can keep going and finding other articles. If I'm running out of time, I can come up here and hit sign in, type in a username and a password, and then go home, come back to the site, hit log in, or sign in, and then all of my data is still there and I can then find more articles or weed out some of them that I don't want to look at anymore. Great resource for it. Notice it also has a dictionary and encyclopedia here. Teacher resources. I can also do a visual search so I can uh, do a different type of search. That's kid search on EBSCO. And then the last one in is the Student Research Center for High School and Middle School. This one looks a little different, a little bit higher level. I can uncheck the ones I don't want to search here and search during the Find button. Same type of thing. SIRS offers a little different. When I go into SIRS Discoverer, same type of information here. I can do the different categories. I can do the basic search here. But what I really like is the databases here. The databases in SIRS comes with the science fair, skills discover, activities, bibliographies, fictions, country facts, but uh, pictures, but here, the maps of the world. They have amazing maps that you can use on all different grade levels. Fabulous, fabulous resource under SIRS Discoverer. The other one that I want to show you is <clears throat> SIRS Issue Researcher. This is for your secondary schools and this same thing has the, all the different type of research that you can do. It has the Today in News here on the right, it has Today in Youth, Focus on Terrorism, Natural Disasters, uh, Curriculum Pathfinders. That is an amazing resource for diff finding different topics that they've already done some basic research for you. Really, really good resource. But one thing that I really like about uh, Issues Researcher is your top 10 pros and cons leading issues. This is wonderful. This is great for debate in the secondary level because it shows you uh, a topic and then it lists articles that are pro and lists articles that are against. This is a really good research tool for those students using that information. That is Issues Researcher and those two items you'll notice are here in Pioneer Library under EBSCO, SIRS, and SIRS. Thanks and have a great day.